Let's see how Victoria handles her new toy, the level 12 Forge, in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wife Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 265 if you like this video. So I know a lot of you will be pleased to see Luke in action in Tour 7. Here he is, played by my opponent, Shomaher, a top 60 global ranking. So I upgraded my uh, D4 card to level 12 just today. I tested it in the Tour 8, but can almost only win matches versus volley players there. Almost all base liners playing there are having very strong two hands, whether it's Victoria or Kaito. So the fact that my fixed Victoria has two strong hands is just a standard there. Moreover, my Victoria cannot play there with Envin shoes at level 12 and an agility of uh, 76, while facing Kaito beasts of 89 or 90 agility at minimum. So I'm going to grind for backs into 7 while waiting to get the anvil at level 13. And well, I still need a bit more than um, 320 anvil cards, yes, to max it out. T and once it is at level 13, my Victoria will have an agility of uh, 80 instead of 76. And that changes a lot. It will definitely be uh, easier to avoid being a flanket. So upgrading the forge from level 11 to level 12 allows you to get one more forehand point and three more backhand points. I used to have a 75 forehand with Victoria, now I have a 76 one. I used to have a 69 backhand, now I have a 72 one. Uh, having a stronger backhand definitely allows to outflank a bit more easily the agile Kaito opponents in Tour 7. It allows to counterbalance a bit the lower agility of Victoria. Its um, greater power can put the opponent in a difficult position a bit more, which gives a bit more time to Victoria to get back to a good position, to get ready and hit the next stroke more efficiently. One. Having the forge at level 12 wasn't a big change in terms of swipe like it was the case when I upgraded the hammer to level 12. Actually, my Victoria's new um, 72 backhand is significantly lower than her 76 forehand, so it's not hard controlling it. Let's go back to the match. As you can see, uh, facing Shomaher a second time. And even if uh, he had the Africa uh, string Three. and a better agility, on some points I had the weird feeling Three. that Three. this bulky look is actually a bit slower than Victoria. That's weird. I could, s I could almost say that this. Um, I don't know. It maybe it's just a, a visual impression, you know. Maybe that actually in the game, if you um, you replay the match uh, in slow motion, you will see that uh, a look is moving faster. But it's just that uh, his bulky appearance is uh, is giving this uh, this sensation. Okay, so Shomaher is giving me some gifts during this match but can inflict some devastating damage too with the critical tier 2 of the Africa string this special string has um, stamina shield tier 2 like the Maestro Monty so there was no it was not penalizing for him to put it on It only replaces the uh, quick catch by a long catch tier 1. Yep, I was surprised to be able to have flank him um, that easily, actually. And then to come back, because he was leading there. I was uh, using the uh, one of the common strategies versus very uh, powerful two-hands players. 
which is to alternate the length of my hits long hits with short hits in that disturbs a lot of uh, players here we go against a very agile Kaito who has a quite strong forehand and a weaker backhand versus his strong forehand so obviously I you should you may think that I should insist all the time on his backhand but uh, I'm not doing the just that I'm going to try and hit now and then on his forehand too so as to avoid being read too easily so of course the windshield wiper can be used here but as you can see the great agility of uh, this Kaito opponent can help him hit some very very nice forehand winners now and then to uh, reduce his reaction time to the max fortunately for me he was committing uh, a lot of unforced errors so yeah it was much much quicker than expected I I was expecting a, a harsh match there which is the which would be the case if um, I had met the same kind of a uh, burn in the tour 8 because opponents in tour 8 are making uh, less unforced errors now that's what I have seen at least for today so this player used to play uh, with the volley Stein he is um, testing the high serve big forehand build with Diana and apparently he's not very used to play with it yet this is probably uh, I don't know to train for the big weekly tournament for the next Gucci Open for instance because unless you uh, are Professor X or Noam or some other excellent volley player as well the volley style is n it's not giving it's not always giving excellent results in the big weekly tournament now that uh, it is a bit uh, more difficult to have very good balance in the tournament and a very good total score oh so as you can see if you choose the choco cards can help you counter the, the uh, high serve style quite easily you just have to position correctly to receive the big serve and then the choker course will help you do the rest of course you have to hit uh, correctly the return here's another Kaito with better agility but uh, well he seems a bit static there. Love. It's a bit weird for 86 agility. So the game was a bit laggy. S I know that some of you have uh, asked me if uh, I have seen the game lag a lot. Well, I have seen another thing actually. I have the uh, impression that. Uh, the game is making me lose stamina a bit faster, even faster. I don't remember her losing stamina that fast actually. Before the last uh, hot fix. And I understand now why a lot of uh, Kaito opponents prefer to pack on a lot of stamina points instead of putting Three, all one. points on the forehand 
I was wondering why this morning when <laughs> I, wa I, I had started the, uh, the session when I saw that a lot of Kaito players were having very, very high stamina all of a sudden. And that was not really the case beforehand. Yep, summon for Zeros here too, because, well, with the lower stamina, as you can imagine, the reflexes and uh, the accuracy of hits uh, are reduced. So this is, I know that the stamina level of my Victoria is not high, but I mean, Three, before the last hot fix, I didn't lose stamina that fast. And we didn't play a lot of rallies. Yeah, there were, there were no long rallies in this match. Anyway, I don't put my antioxidants on. I just keep playing with the cover load. Because, well, I prefer to attack, to be aggressive. And, well, if I lose with the cover load, it's too bad, but I prefer to train with the cover load. Because uh, that's the card that I want to level up to upgrade it to level uh, 12. I have it uh, at level 11 right now. So, what's the point if I, I try to level it up and I don't use it at all? And that's the choice that uh, my first opponent had made to Schumacher, the top 60 global player, as you have seen in the first two matches. Oh my gosh, yep. I had I had almost nothing left. I was running on empty here. If there was <laughs> yeah. If we had to play some more points then I guess that uh, my Victoria wouldn't run on one foot. Would crawl on the court instead of running. Let's open some packs. To satisfy some subs. Here we go. Yep. So I have uh, I have up almost uh, 30 bags today and got only uh, around 20 anvil cards, so it was a bit uh, a pity. Here we go with a one strong hand, Victoria putting an Italian wire. On. Neck. One. Love. So her backhand is her weak point, False. and she doesn't have a very strong serve, Six just a seven. decent one, 55. Oh, you need to do is to hit Two. hard Love. on her backhand, False. or t to wrong foot her, and to hit on her forehand. Your choice. Out. Three. Love. So this Italian wire has a uh, long catch here too. Three. One. Not sure that this is the best string for uh, to play versus me because I One. was not a high serve player. I didn't even put uh, a choker course on here. It was not needed with a 55 serve only to counter. If it was a 70 something, 72, 70, or even 70, I would have put the choker cards. But here that was not necessary. So my wing ratio in the 27 for this practice session was near my uh, average wing ratio, all matches included around 63 uh, percent. I lost a lot of matches versus Halep, who has an edge in terms of skills, of experience and of stats for now. His Kaito has an agility of 89, a 70 forehand and 68 backhand. And that's pretty enough to counter my Victoria. 
So our matches end up uh, very often 5-7 or 4-7. I can almost keep pace with him until 4-4 four, four or 5-5. Five, five. And then my victory just gets tired and starts being very slow after harsh rallies. Plus, of course, Halep is playing very well. Here's my lineup again. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me testing the new level 12 Forge card with Victoria into a 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support, and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye.